Me and Rebecca are heading out to the barn tonight. It has been hot today, pretty hot. Very hot. Yeah, it's been a job. It's been one of those days where you just do like a bunch of little jobs. You just kind of stay busy here and there and then go inside and cool off. So, yeah, today we're gonna go out to the barn and uh, what are we doing? Um, I need to sweep it out. Um, I need to look. The pigs somehow got out of their pen last night, which is locked. So I need to figure out where they got out. Okay, yeah, so she thinks the pigs got out of there. Well, the pigs were out this morning, so she's yeah. afraid maybe the fence is busted on the brooder stall that we were keeping them in. Um, of course, it was already banged up because we put Gracie in there one time and she bent it all up, so maybe the fencing needs repaired, and uh, I think it just needs a general cleaning because the pigs have been in there for like two weeks now. Yeah. Starting to actually smell like pigs in the barn, so <laughs> we, need to, <laughs> we need to do a little bit of cleaning. All right, pups, move. Move. So the pigs, they actually only poop and go to the bathroom in one spot, and it's in that corner back there that she's shoveling out. And uh, they, uh, yeah, that's where they go to the bathroom, one, okay. one place. Yeah, they keep the rest of their food clean, just like when they're outside. Looks like I need to clean out their food bowl. Yeah. Look out, pigs. Look out. Try to clean your bowl. It's getting all stuck to the sides. It's like it needs to soak. Lost <laughs> her in the face. Did I? Scout goes crazy over the cats yeah, and the little well, bitty cat, the one that one was the sick one. Does not know that they're dangerous, and she's almost tried to go outside the fence to them. She's like stuck her whole head out there. Yeah, the dogs won't probably be very no. gentle with her for sure. No. But she's the one that was sick, and mm -hmm. she's been treated at the vet now. Yeah, she's had shots and medicine. I got more medicine to give her in a couple days. Oh. oh, you piggies want some mud? You guys want some mud? There you go. So what do you got there? Um basically from after, I think. It's horse and stable fly spray, mostly, yeah. It's working really good on spiders. There's one crawling right up it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this yeah. is... For some reason, the flies are way worse in here than anywhere else. Um, you mean in the pig place? Yeah. In the, where the, we're keeping the pigs? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're horrible in here. So we have been sweeping the barn out on a regular, well, maybe not out. We've been sweeping the barn up on a regular basis and then we've got a pile of stuff that we need to clean out. We've been kind of piling it in this corner over here. So we'll probably get that cleaned out and then the barn will be all back to being clean again. But uh, we've been trying to sweep it every night. We've just been putting it in a pile. See, now I don't see any more flies. Okay, I see a few. Okay, I was thinking, I saw a couple, but <laughs> I wasn't going to like, you know. There's less. You realize you're wearing sandals, right? Yeah. Okay. These are my barn sandals. Barn sandals, that sounds disgusting. <laughs> it's hot out. It's much cooler in sandals. They're chasing chickens.
Last load. Yep. Hey, what are you doing in the chicken coop? Hi, Peaky Peaky. Those fat little pigs fit through that little bitty hole. Can you come out and show them how you fit? Come here. No. Are you looking to see if there's anything good to eat in there? Well, it looks better. Much better. Yep. You got a pig in a chicken coop. I know. I was waiting to see him come out. I didn't get to see him go in. <laughs> They're so fat, I don't know how they fit through there. What are you doing in the chicken coop? There you go. Get out of there. <laughs> oh no. What? Gracie, don't headbutt the pigs. You're hurting the bacon. <laughs> Still trying to get their bowl clean. I know. It gets dirty. They're waiting for us to fill it up with food. Hey, I think it's actually scrubbing clean now. At least on the sides. Well, you really get into your work. Well, yeah, I want to mix it up good for them. You gotta love a woman that ain't afraid to get dirty. <laughs> They should be happy. Make sure the door's locked. Okay, the door's locked. So yeah. we'll, we'll know See if they escape. <laughs> yep. Okay, we gotta get um, hay for these whiny goats. Have you shown our... Uh, the moles? Groundhogs. Groundhogs. Yeah. Well, I got way off on that yeah. one. No, I have not shown the groundhogs. Yeah. The groundhogs have been digging up this barn and there's holes all over the place. Oh, there's a big one back there. Yeah, there's several holes. And, uh... All right, are we done with the animals for now? No, chickens. Chickens, <laughs> we got too many animals. <laughs> chicken that's sitting on the duck eggs she's keeping out the same guy yeah you they took you, yeah you took over sitting on the duck eggs huh hey <laughs> yeah sitting on six duck eggs hopefully they hatch kind of doubt it yeah. all right so we got all the animal stores done so now we're going to try to move this electric netting before it gets dark yeah, we better hurry. Yeah, better hurry. Looks like rain's coming in. It's amazing this charger is still working fine in this tall grass. Yeah. Alright, it's turned off. <laughs> yeah, your sandal's gonna work out real good in this. Your barn sandals. <laughs> well, I was the only thing we were going to the barn. I forgot about moving this fence. So this is where the goats have been grazing. It's such a small area, but yet they really, I don't know, it's knocked down a little bit, but they, it's, you know, there's still plenty of forage in here. The goats just haven't, these female goats, I don't know what it is about them, but they don't eat as good as the boys do. No, they don't. I gotta watch for snakes. I'm sure you will watch for snakes. Well, they've eaten down more than what yeah. it look like. But I don't think it's any comparison to what the boys do. Oh, no. Not at all. Man, I can tell this is so much heavier than that goat and sheep fence. 
Yes. We end up buying goat and sheep fences for the boys to make their area bigger. And you can definitely tell it's lighter when you move it around. This poultry netting's got so many strands. It's pretty heavy stuff. Especially for a 164 foot roll. Scout's back there in case you need him. <laughs> All right. I'm going to need you to pull this one for me. Okay. Okay. Your turn. Okay, tag team, you're in. All right. Oh, she's going to use her legs. Yeah. Oh, I think I just broke the netting. Are you pulling on the post or the netting? Well, I think I had both. <laughs> <laughs> They're in there good, ain't they? Yeah, I don't know if I can wiggle no, it. No, you'll bend the you'll bend the spike. Okay, let me hold that. No, I'll just set it down. All right. I tried to let you do it. I, I probably loosened it for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, probably wouldn't. Oh, it I told you. <laughs> you came right out. Okay, maybe you did loosen it. That was pretty that was pretty easy. <laughs> I can tell stepping these in that the ground is really dry. That's for sure. Oh, <laughs> yeah, the ground is pretty hard even to put in these two little spikes. Oh, okay, it has to be a turn. So you can see this pasture area behind us, so we haven't been able to let the goats, we don't have any fencing, so nothing's grazing it, so it's all going to feed. And the weeds are starting to come up. You can see the ragweed and other weeds starting to come up, so I need to get it mowed. Hadn't been mowed at all this year, so hopefully now that we get this fence moved, I'll come out here with the brush hog tomorrow and get this all mowed down, looking nice. And that'll kind of help knock the weeds back. Oh yeah, wind's picking up. Yeah, nice. Yeah, cooling off, the sun's down, we got rain moving in. I think it's supposed to be like 10 degrees cooler tomorrow. That'd be nice, because it was like in the 90s today. Yeah. Yeah, I drank a whole gallon of tea, mm -hmm. I think, by, what, three in the afternoon or something. It was a hot day. Yeah. I think that's it for tonight, guys. Um, hopefully we'll get a little bit of rain. It's been really dry. The only rain we got was that little shower the day we bailed our hay and it only you know rained for probably less than an hour that day so it's been dry for like a week yeah really dry we've been having to water the garden and irrigate it and it's just been really dry need some rain yep. so and i wouldn't mind it cooling off a little bit <laughs> so. summertime. All right. yeah <laughs> summertime so anyway that's it guys thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one So you want to explain why Maggie happens to be wearing a coat in the middle of the summertime? She's cold. She shivers in the house. She's a little old lady. She's cold. It's because you gave her a haircut. Well, yeah, she had a haircut too. And then she started shivering. Yeah. Yeah. She doesn't spend a ton of time outside. No, she's an inside spoiled dog. Yeah.